Hello guys, this is James and welcome to this AutoBX tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool add to cart button animation using AutoBX Before that I gotta mention that I made this animation inspired by the dribble shot. So let's get straight to the tutorial without any delay. First of all, all you need to do is open AutoBX where you can download the project file from the link in the description and next create a new artboard in any size of your choice. Go to the asset panels and apply color to the artboard. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle and make its corner rounded. Select the rectangle and apply the dark color and add text. Now select the line tool and draw a plus icon. You can download icons if you don't feel like designing it. Group the text and the icon and make sure it's at the center of the rectangle. Now add a cart icon which I have downloaded from the noun project and resize the cart icon. Expand the cart layers, select the pen tool and draw a rough shape around the cart icon like this. Rename the layer of mask layer. Then select the ellipse tool and draw a circle from the center of the cart icon. Remove its border and rename the circle layer to fill. Bring the fill below to the mask layer. And now, select the pen tool and draw a check icon. Bring it below to the mask layer after completing check icon now select the tick and fill layer to make them group. Then select the group and mask layer and mask them with shape. And this is how the icons look after we finish all this. Next, open the mask layer and reduce it to tick icon size. Then select the group and move it below the mask layer. Now move the cart icon to the outside of the rectangle and rotate it to minus 45 degree. Select the rectangle and duplicate it using Ctrl plus D. Now rename it to mask layer. Then move the mask layer to the top of other layers. Select all layers and mask them with shape and finally we'll get this. Now duplicate the artboard in the second artboard. You have to select the text group and move it above the button. And change the angle of the plus icon to 180 degree. Again, duplicate the artboard. Now bring the cart icon inside the rectangle and change its angle to 0 degree. And you gotta duplicate the artboard again.
open the cart icon and bring the fill layer to the center of the cart icon. Duplicate the artboard once again. So you have to increase the size of the tick icon. And you gotta make sure it's at the center. Duplicate the artboard again. Select the cart icon and move it to the right and change its angle to minus 45 degree. And guys, you gotta duplicate the artboard for one last time. Now bring back the text inside the rectangle and bring the plus icon angle to 0 degree. Now it's time to prototype. Create a track trigger on the button, change the type to auto animate. Easing to snap and set duration to 0.8 seconds. Click the second artboard and create a time trigger and keep the delay zero as other setting which are same as before. Now apply the same for other artboards. Connect the last artboard to the first using time trigger. But this time, set the delay to 0.4 second and type as a transition and change the easing to none. And now click the preview to see the animation. Oops, the easing is very fast. So let's change the duration to 1.5 seconds and try again. And here we go. It seems nice finally. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you like this video then drop a like and share it with your designer friends. And forget not to subscribe to my channel which will motivate me to upload more videos on animation. Feel free to share your thoughts and things which I should improve in the comments below. And also the links to my social media are in the description. See you next time. Until then. Bye.